Bruce MacArthur, a Toronto serial killer, and male model Luca Magnata have a lot of similarities and connections and links. This podcast is investigating further. For years, Toronto police were extremely negligent in their lack of investigation into the disappearances of missing homosexual men. Bruce MacArthur was a Toronto landscaper who was searched for gay men on the internet dating websites, then bring them back to his apartment, tie them up, rape them, and murder them. He then dismembered these men and put their body parts in planters on his clients' properties. This went on for years while the imbeciles and the Toronto police refused to admit and acknowledge the existence of the serial killer. The Toronto police also ruined the whole case of the billionaire Barry and Honey Sherman. That case is still unsolved in the case of Luca Magnata. Magnata's defense team tried for months to obtain all the records Luca had on stalkers and all the police reports Magnata filed. Finally, a judge forced Toronto police to release all these reports Luca filed about stalkers. So what was the Toronto police afraid of? I will tell you, they are completely incompetent. I have discovered the following through my journalistic investigation skills. And Luca Magnata resided at 95 Thorncliffe Park Drive, the Leaside Towers in Toronto, for many years in the early 2000s. Luca lived at the Leaside Towers with the Minneapolis brothers who forced him into credit card fraud. He was absolutely framed. These brothers were registered in the name that is all verifiable through the driver's license and the utility bill records. Bruce MacArthur also lived at the Leaside Towers. McDonough denied any involvement in helping Bruce MacArthur find any of the gay men. Allegations were made that Luca met Bruce MacArthur at Remington Strip Club in Toronto. They were apparently introduced by James Alex Bruton, who Luca apparently met in Peterborough, Ontario. It was all alleged. Luca went by the name Nathan while working as a high-priced exotic dancer and escort in Toronto and was involved in a cannibal ring with James Alex Burton and Bruce MacArthur. Luca denied these allegations, and Luca denied introducing any of these men to MacArthur. Project Houston checked through email accounts they thought belonged to Luca Magnata. These were not Magnata's accounts. Again, the police fucked up big time. Advertisements alleged to be from Luca Magnata placed on internet sex websites looking for Middle Eastern men could not be linked to Magnata or any of the victims. MacArthur was arrested eventually and charged and convicted of the eight Toronto gay serial killings. Magnata could not be linked to helping MacArthur. People I've interviewed have claimed MacArthur hired Luca Magnata as a male escort. Magnata denies he was hired by his clients to find them victims. Magnata says he was framed for murder and is completely innocent. Evidence support this. From all my research, I have determined Manny Lopez and David Diamato were responsible for the crimes. Magnata was only their hired escort. Luca was the abused victim in all of these situations and was beaten and traumatized. It's unfathomable what Luca went through. All the photos exist of Luca with black eyes and beatings and bruises. Luca's New York City attorney, Romeo Salta, has all the pictures. These pictures are also available for viewing online. Luca denies he was involved in a sex ring involving James Alex Britton and also a cannibalism ring being paid to find Britton victims. Luca denies these allegations. Unfortunately, because of the Toronto police's incompetence, all of these crimes happened. Luca filed so many police reports about people harassing him and stalking him, but nothing was done. In fact, even people closest to Luca were stalking him. His friends were jealous of his wealth and success. His manager was jealous Luca didn't need him any longer. So even his manager was leaving Luca threatening messages and emails so Magnata wouldn't take away business from the escort agency. Nobody could handle losing Luca, so they tried everything in order to keep him illegally opening his mail, sabotaging his vehicle, stalking him, screwing with his escorting and modeling career, trying to infiltrate his Facebook, leaving threatening voicemail messages. It's all do documented in Toronto police reports, which Luke LeClaire finally gained access to after battling the corrupt Toronto police force who tried to keep everything top secret. 
the Project Houston investigation was a colossal failure. When I spoke to somebody close to the events, they recalled Magnata having a client who matched MacArthur's description. Apparently, this man invited Luca over, and he was drugged in the wine and raped. Luca denied spending time with MacArthur in Niagara Falls and going on escort dates with him. Luca denies all allegations and involvement in unsolved homicides and crimes in different countries. Luca will be eligible for parole in 15 years and will, will most definitely get out of prison one day. Bruce MacArthur will never get out of prison. I appreciate all the comments and feedback, everyone. If you enjoyed this podcast, please like, share, comment, and leave your thoughts. It's important to have the truth come out. Magnata has been lied about so much, and now more and more people are seeing that he was framed. He does not belong inside prison, and it's evident now more than ever the Attorney General of Canada should release him, or at least grant him a new trial. It's all possible. Luca's supporters will not rest until he is free.